On October 10th, 2017, the Netherlands failed to qualify for the World Cup. Our, our strongest emotion is, is that we just feel left out. It was very disappointing that after being third in Brazil four years ago that we didn't even qualify for the World Cup this year. It already hurts after missing out on Euro 2016, but this is worse. Such a shame. Yeah, and uh, we finished uh, the World Cup in 2014, the last World Cup, third. So, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that time seems uh, to be far behind us. Holland is still one of the better teams in the world, but we didn't show much and we didn't play with a lot of heart and desire this time around. And uh, we're going to have to wait another four years, unfortunately. After several disappointing results earlier in qualifying, including a 2-0 loss to Bulgaria, which led to manager Danny Blind being fired, the Netherlands entered the final day of play level on points with their opponent Sweden. But because of a steep goal differential, they needed to win 7-0. Despite a brace from Ian Robin, they couldn't get the goals they needed and the Dutch were done. Now the birthplace of total football will be watching the tournament from home for the first time since 2002. An unthinkable outcome for a nation that has produced legends like Johan Cruyff and Dennis Bergkamp. The absence also sparked the retirement of Dutch legend Ian Robin, who announced he was stepping away from the international game after a 13-year career. Here are the three reasons why the Netherlands failed to qualify for Russia 2018. Being unable to reach the competition was truly down to poor results under previous manager Danny Blint. He oversaw what was probably one of the most dreadful footballing performances I've ever seen when the Dutch lost 2-0 in Bulgaria. There was no tactics, no passion, Blint looked clueless. I think though the Netherlands can reflect upon some bad luck during qualification, they missed out on goal difference uh, to Sweden, yet the Dutch should have beaten them in the away leg and the Scandinavians also got very lucky with a last minute winner against France. It's ironic that the Dutch national team didn't make the World Cup this year because we didn't score enough goals. We had an inferior goal difference relative to Sweden. The Dutch are always famous for scoring so many goals. We're always famous for our attacking talents. Except for Aryan Robin, we didn't have much attacking talent this year. Uh, yeah, the Netherlands had also bad luck, I must say. In the first game against Sweden, a very important game, yeah, the, the winning goal from Bas Dost wrongly rejected. We lost uh, with no chance against France, but Sweden beats the Frenchman after a huge mistake from Hugo Lloris in the last minute. So that ended up at 2-1. Sweden, they suddenly beat Luxembourg with 8 no! In Holland, everybody has something like, okay, uh, no, we can't reach the World Cup anymore, it's over. I sense that the Dutch people will take interest in, in Morocco during the summer. An African team has never won the World Cup. I'd love to see an African team do well, uh, but I'll be rooting for Iceland for sure. Their heart and desire and their passion is uh, unrivaled. Uh, the squad I'm going to support during the World Cup in Russia is Iceland. The Moroccans have a few players uh, that are prominent in the Dutch area de Vizier, such as Ajax's Hakim Ziyech um, and Feyenoord's Karim Al Amadi. It's an incredible achievement for a country with not even 335,000 people, really. People from Iceland, Islandigar Melgegni.